You can take vacations when you want. No one's gonna fire you if you don't show up one day and trade. No one cares if you wanna take a three day weekend. You have more time for yourself, more time for your family and more personal freedom. So what does it take to do this? It takes having the right skill set. You will learn that skill set from me if you come and do my class. And then you will be in the trading room if you want to. And you will replicate that skill set over time by trading week after week and day after day until you get good. And then as time goes on, your trading should get better and you should be able to make more money and you build up your account. Now, one of the things we talked about in the room today, and I, and I really never watched football, but it was funny because I didn't watch the games last night because I live in New York and the Giants were in one of the playoff games. And they started out the game, the first game with the Steelers was a blowout and they won. In the second game, the, the, the Giants were up by like three points and then they had two, two field goals to get them, they were up by six points. And the announcers were talking like, oh, they're doing so great, they're doing so great. And I'm thinking, this, is, this game is boring. This is a boring, boring game. And I wasn't thinking that, that, that anybody was doing great, to be honest with you. Then, then the other team, okay, the Packers made a touchdown, got ahead, and then made another one. So then they were, they were even, even Steven with them, then they were ahead, and then guess what? After that, I think the score was like six to 14, and I, and I was watching, I thought, oh, they're done. I don't remember when that was, it's the second half or before the second half or second quarter. Anyways, you cannot win if you feel, always feel like you're coming from behind. You've got to go out and take it and take it aggressively when you trade. And I, I absolutely do that. I mean, I do it for several reasons. One, because I'm in trade so quickly in the morning in the one minute chart, which rarely people trade. Two, because I go in aggressively in the morning because I know what to do or if I'm not going to do anything at all even before 9.30. I 100% go in, then I'm gonna win and take it, take the money I want. And I'm mentally prepared and ready to do so, or I'm not, because I say there's nothing good. You can't win, you cannot get ahead if you always feel like you are coming from behind. And here, everybody said different reasons why I said, why are people not successful? Why are people losing this and that? No one really touched on, on I mean, all of you were right, because there's we, we, could, we could talk all night, we could be here for until midnight and list the reasons why people lose. But, but I will tell you that one of the main things I see now, because I've, I've been training for more than eight years, I've had the business so for four, and one of the main things I hear all the time talking to people on the phone and emails and everything else is that people in their head feel like they're, they're behind. Because most people don't roll out of bed and start trading the market and making money. That's just, I don't, I don't know anyone that ever did that, and myself included. Everyone I've ever talked to has either traded in the market and lost money or taken classes and paid money, which in their mind was a loss if they didn't learn how to trade and then make the money back for the class and move forward and continue to pay, get the market to pay them, okay, or pay for the class. So people in their mind are living weeks and months and years always constantly 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 feeling that they're coming from behind so people could go and learn a whole new system something a million different than never did before and still not be able to make that adjustment in their mind that they're they're starting fresh they're starting over they still mentally feel that they're coming from behind in the market in their mind it's hard to come out and, and, and make it and win if, if you're down, okay? And you've gotta come in aggressively to win every day that you trade or play a game like in sports. I can't believe I'm talking about sports, but it's just such a good example here because I was thinking these things in my mind last night when I was watching the game, thinking that, why are these announcers talking about the Giants like they're doing great? I'm thinking they're not, they're not, tra they're, they're, they're not coming out strong enough, okay? So if you wanna win, you gotta come out strong. And not only that, you can't think mentally that you are behind. Because if you come to me and you take my class and you pay me for my class, which by the way is $5,000, and you open up a trading account, which is gonna be your own money when you do it, whenever you're ready, okay, right after the class or soon after, you gotta feel like you're starting fresh now today. If you feel like you are coming from behind, from trading for the last five years or 10 years or two years or three months or taking 55 classes before you come to me, then you, your mental attitude, you're working against yourself. 
You're, you're working against yourself. The market isn't working against you. You are working against yourself mentally because you will always feel like you're coming from behind, that you are down instead of feeling like you're going in winning and you're and you're just moving forward. This is so important. This is the stuff that I'm talking about right now is like worth money, people. This advice I'm giving you. Is anyone listening to anything I'm saying? You have got to get this. And this is free advice. You have to have a plan of action to go in and win. And you're not going to live in the past anymore. You're going to move forward. Whatever money you lost in the market, let it go. Okay? Why? It doesn't matter because there's so much money to make if you move forward that is an endless amount. And the money you'll make if you can move forward and let go of the stuff that happened in the past will be, will be so much more than anything that you ever lost. Don't you get it? Meanwhile, if you still have this negative attitude and you feel like you're coming from behind, you'll never get forward. Because you'll never get forward if you're always coming from behind. Please tell me somebody, anybody that you understand what I'm saying. This is, this is critical. Anyways, you got to have a good system no matter what, which we've talked about the whole time. And gaps are very profitable. They have predictable moves. They have fast moves is why I like to do them. And they also happen so quickly. So how do I do it? I have a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. You can use it for longs, but I prefer to short. And the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And that is what I do. And I do it every day. I never skimp. I never not do it. I never skimp on it. I always go through the checklist every day and I always will because I don't want to make sure I miss anything and because, you know, this is a serious thing. And the more prepared I am, the more conviction I have and the better I will trade and the more money I will make and the better choices I will have. And I always say you can be perfect for 30 minutes a day, but it's hard to be perfect for six and a half hours a day. So that's why I don't trade all day either.